Welcome to the heart of Southern California. We are in the city of Riverside, to be exact. It's X Games 2021, and it's Pat Casey's Dream Yard that's playing host here to Wendy's BMX Park. Hello, everyone. I'm Jimmy Coleman, standing alongside Scotty Kramer. We got Jack Matrani out in the field. And, well, Scotty, as we come into this event, nine riders in the field, we have a couple of returning park gold medalists. But let's start it off, talk about Daniel Sandoval. He's got a park gold from 2015, and he comes into this extremely focused and on a tear. Tons of momentum coming into this event. The tricks that he's landing consistently are just blowing every rider's minds. It's just unbelievable to see the level of riding right now that he's at. And he's got such determination. He knows how to bring the heat. He's logged a lot of hours here at Pat's Dream Yard. Not a lot of practice coming into this event. However, he says he knows exactly what he wants to do here. Another returning gold medalist, Dennis Anderson, got his part gold in 2016. A lot of people in BMX see Dennis Anderson as the greatest all-around rider to ever do it. I think he's going to show up at this course today and make it look like it's his backyard. And, of course, we have to talk about the man hosting the event, Pat Casey. We're in his backyard. He knows this place better than anyone. He has two prior park medals in his X Games history. If you seen any of the videos that Pat has done here, he's got this place locked up. They made a couple changes to it, but I think it's only going to help the riding, and I think it's going to make the flow much better in the backyard. It is going to be an all-out battle. Nine riders in the field. Who's taking the gold? So there is an overview of Wendy's BMX Park here at Pat Casey's Dream Yard. Look at this expanse of wood that they get to play with out here today, Scotty. As we mentioned, nine riders in the field. It is a 30-minute jam session. Uh, we talked about a couple of stand-ups. Who else do you like in this field tonight? Kevin Peraza is always someone who is going to show up and put his personal stamp on this course. I've seen him in practice. He looks fantastic, and he knows how to get a gold medal as well. So as we run through this competition, you're not going to see scores. It's basically the judges are doing a live ranking. So you're going to see the names moving around uh, quite a bit here on the leaderboard as we work our way towards handing out some gold here at Wendy's BMX Park. Taking a look at our first competitor, this is Ben Wallace out of the UK. We haven't seen Ben in a uh, X Games Park competition. You got to go all the way back to X Games LA in 2012. We predominantly see him in dirt. However, this guy is a powerhouse. He can put together a run here on a park course and he gets to start the party for us here Scotty. Yeah he's been riding fantastic lately he did a great job at the world championship and I think he is going to ride fantastic on this course today. Look at that height right there huge 360 backflip straight into a flare that was so high over the top of the spine but that's what the great thing about this backyard is you're going to see these guys ride to their full potential today because this is designed specifically for BMX. That's the thing in the past they've had to share the course with the skateboarders and also so they've had to use concrete bowls in the past. So the guys are pretty stoked to have this back here in an all wood facility and something that's catered specifically for them. Hey, it looks like Ben is going to wave his runoff early right there. Maybe he's conserving energy. But look at the height on this 360 backflip. That was about three feet higher than I expected when he was dropping in. So he landed still pretty good. He went for this flare. I know in practice he was setting up another similar line, but so that's only promising us that we're going to see even better riding. Well, and again, it's the better of your runs that count. We should get about three with a 30-minute jam session out here. You see the clock there up on the top left of the screen there with the Wendy's BMX Park graphics. So we'll see what Ben does in that next round. But coming your way right now out of Croatia, this is Marin Rantis. Marin Rantis, the Croatian sensation. This guy is a wild man. He's got so many technical moves. You can see that double bar spin to late no-hander. Such fast hands and such precision. Look at that, that was four tail whips right there. He does it easily. I, I mean, that's just amazing to make the frame spin around like that four times. So many, uh, just think about the level of competition right now. So many crazy tricks. 722. Oh. oh, but he slid out at the last second. What an amazing run though so far. And this is his first time at the X Games. Yeah, X Games rookie. So you'll see two clocks running there in the top left corner. So you've got the overall jam session clock. The run time is 45 seconds. After 45 seconds elapses, that's it. So that's why you have two time clocks running there in the top left corner of the screen. But he was off to a great start there, Scotty. So taking a look at it again overall, nine of them in the field, 30-minute jam session. It's the best run that counts. So I think that we'll get about three runs here with a 30-minute time session. 
Lamar, and we'll have to see more of him in round number two. But coming your way right now out of Corona, California, just down the road, this is Larry Edgar. When you think about Larry Edgar, you think about high flying. Anyone get the oh. height right now? Larry is a local here, so he has this place figured out. I'll be honest with you though right now, Larry had an injury in practice. He is riding with seven stitches in his shin right now. It doesn't look like it's holding him back at all. I see that. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. He's definitely a little banged up, was hobbling around a little bit yesterday, but you would not know by the way he's putting together this first run. Look at that, triple tail up over the box jump. Good flow, and that's what he's known for. Larry's able to find lines, but he also just does super high air on everything. People just don't understand. Like, just even that line right there, he just did a pullback, but it was all you and a 360 to flat. What a cool, unique way to end your run. So again, as we mentioned, no scoring. It's a live ranking, so you'll see the names jumping a bit, jumping around a bit on the top of the leaderboard as we take a look at some replays here from Larry Edgar's first attempt. Yeah, triple whip. It's a clean run right there. You can see he's kicking the bike three times around. Larry is a brakeless rider. And to be honest with you, I haven't seen Larry do triple whips in a while. I think he pulled this one back out of his bag for this style of competition here on this park course. So Mara was in that top spot. So there you go. Larry Edgar takes over at the top spot here in the early round, the first round, I should say, here in Wendy's BMX Park. But watch out. We talked about Daniel Sandoval at the top of the show, your 2015 BMX Park gold medalist. He's medaled in four of the last seven contested X Games BMX Park events. And look at him so far. He just said that cork 810 over that hip. Coming to the big step up. The double ticket, and he pulled it. That trick is supposed to be impossible. That's a video game trick right there. Did you see how close he was to that wall? It's not he, it's not going to deter him, though. He's still focused, and he's going to get through this run. Oh, Look at that catch goodness. roll. Still going. Nice downside tail. And that's what's so great about Daniel Sandoval. He might have a situation. Oh, he lost his pedals on that pump right there. It was just a bull corner ride. But man, that run up to that point was oh, unbelievable. My goodness. I, the, the, I haven't seen the replay of that. He was so close. I thought he was going to run into the wall right there on the back side of the course. But man, it just save it to save it. Yeah, so this is the underflip that started out. But look what he does. He goes straight into a corked out 810. So 810 degrees spinning over at the top of that hip. It's almost like a backflip, but it's spinning with a 720, kind of 810. But here's the cash roll, which is a 360 front flip, kind of corked 720. Man, what a great run, though. Even though he didn't get the full finish, but man, we are looking for an amazing competition. Hey, even though he didn't get the finish, it puts him in the top spot right now. So Jeremy Malott on course, another X Games rookie, lives in Havasu City, Arizona, but he trained a lot in Menifee, California with Daniel Sandoval during the pandemic. So excited to see Jeremy Malott out here on the course today. He's got such unique tricks. Look at that 360 double tail whip. He's the type of guy that likes combining the tail whips and the bar spins into a uh, single air. So. Nice flare with that height on that big quarter pipe right there, keeping the momentum. And that's what the judges are looking for. They want to see you ride this course so that you have speed. It's got to look like you know what you're doing around here. You can't get lost at all. And, yeah, it's, I mean, and it's so complicated. There's so many different ramps here. There's so many different lines. There's so many different features to choose from out here. Nice 720 up the big step up. He's going back onto the main course now. Nice flare on that little corner right there. That, He's known to do stuff like that. that. It's going to be time. I think that's the first full 45 second run that we've seen in this contest thus far. So it's Sandoval, Edgar, and Rantis, your one, two, three, as of right now. Again, 30 minute jam session. The runs are 45 seconds in length. It is your better of your runs or your best run that counts here in Wendy's BMX Park. Well, two-time X Games gold medalist Kevin Peraza is up next, but first, let's see what he's up to while the event world was on hold in this Wendy's athlete profile. My name is Kevin Peraza. I'm from Tucson, Arizona, currently living in San Diego, California, and I'm a professional BMX athlete. I went from 2019 jumping on 80-plus flights 2020, March came around and everything stopped. No traveling, no events, no nothing. I got to really focus more on myself, mental health, and actually build a routine for myself. I simply just rode my bike. There was no like end goal to the session, just fun. Probably did the most riding I have in the last years, you know, and yeah, I'm ready to go again. 
Well, fun is the name of the game when it comes to Kevin Peraza. This guy always looks like he is having the best time when he is on his bike. We talked about returning gold medalists in the field. He is one of them as well. He got his part gold medal in 2017. The first year X Games was in Minneapolis. And just like I was saying in the beginning of the show, Kevin Peraza has his own signature style, and he started off the run amazing, using the new add-on to the course, doing that 360 downside tail of transfer. Judges are going to love stuff like that. But you see that, how he's using the little ramps on the course, but he's still bringing his speed and his flow around there. Ooh, it barely hunts to that flare, but that's not going to slow him down at all. Nice 360 table transfer. Yeah, just traveling some real estate on that transfer there. Last couple of seconds ticking down here for Kevin Peraza's first run. Yeah, there's his signature style, that nose 360 there. That's what he's known to do. He brings that. It's more of a street style trick, and uh, he brings it to the park course consistently in his X Games run. So that was an awesome first visit to the course for Kevin. So a full 45 seconds in the books for KP. So this was a close call right here. You can see he kind of was on an angle there. He almost slid out a little bit. But this is the one I was talking about, the street style thing. So you can see he's going into a nose manual across the box jump, but then he's got to stop his momentum. It's not like he has a break or anything. He uses his body control and he takes his momentum and shifts it to the front wheel and spins around. And he's one of the only people that can do that consistently enough to put it in a run. And it's consistent and it puts him in the top spot. It's Kevin Peraza now, then Daniel Sandoval and Jeremy Malott, your one, two, Three with about 22 and a half minutes left to go here in the jam session. However, hold on, we've got the guy that built this dream yard, Pat Casey, on course right now. I've been so excited to see Pat ride this course. Yes, I've seen all the dream yard videos and all the amazing tricks he's doing, but he's got to do a consistent run right now. He's got to put it all together in one shot. And I was curious to see what style of tricks. And so far, this is just Pat Casey at his best. Everything is just flowing so smooth. Everything looks so controlled, and his style is amazing as well. Coming up on the final 15 seconds here, we mentioned that he has two park medals to his name. He got a bronze X Games LA in 2012 and a silver at Foz de Guasu, Brazil in 2013. Yeah, Pat. Beautiful first run for Pat. Really like what he did with the opposite 360 over the hill. Oh, oh can he finish this one? Nice <laughs> with the fakey whip. And All that right. will count. That was a connected trick right there. Right, get a little buzzer beater in right there. Home court advantage. Wow, coming fakey over the spine right there. Let's take another look here, Scotty. Yeah, but look at just his control right here. Beautiful truck to tabletop, folding the bike in there. But right here, you can see he carves and does a switch spin. So that's an opposite rotation. All these guys have a way that they feel comfortable with rotating, and that was his opposite way. So that's like relearning the trick completely from start. So that'll put him in podium contention right now. That slides Pat into that number two spot. So it's Kevin Peraza, Pat Casey, and Daniel Sandoval now. You're one, two, three. On course right now out of Canada, this is Mike Varga, X Games 2021, will be his fifth appearance. Such an amazing rider. He's got the ability to spin like a top. Look at that. That's an Ali U450 truck into the new add-on, which is that slanted vert wall there. But he's really good at doing tail whip tricks, bar spin tricks. Look at that flip whip onto that Spox right there. When I say Spox, that means it's a lip to lip. Nice front flip, tuck no hander as well. This is a great run for Mike Varga. Coming up on the 10 second mark here for Mike. So you always want to put a lasting impression on the judges, so it's really important to see if he can bring something uh, really big right now. Nice 540 flare. So that's tricky right there because he stalled on that ice pick. So I was just about to ask after the ice pick, with the time going across the flat, will that last one count? That's a tough one to call. I'm glad that I don't have to give the exact <laughs> word on that one, and I'm not the judge, but he was kind of stuck in that ice pick for a little bit. But look at that technical trick, that bar spin flare. He landed everything really nice. There was a lot of mix of different tricks, and uh, I think that's a really good situation to be in your first run. Well, X Games veteran Dennis Anderson has seen many X Games builds. Let's hear what he thinks of this backyard setup in the Pacifico Discover More.
What's up? I'm Dennis Anderson. I am from San Diego, California, and I ride BMX. My first X Games was 2007. Dennis Anderson is regarded as one of the best all around. It's pretty cool to have seen so much. We've come all the way to being in a backyard ramp. I think there's going to be a lot of surprises. Pat and Larry Edgar, probably my favorite two ramp riders, and this is Pat's backyard, and it's where Larry rides more than anywhere else. It's going to be hard to keep up with him. Pat came down to our little jam. We threw crown the king of my backyard, and then he's going to have to defend that title. This X Games is his own backyard. I think it'll be even easier. <laughs> Well, I'm excited to see what Dennis Anderson puts down on this course here. He is medaled in six of the last nine X Games Park contests that he's entered. But he's another one of those guys, Scotty, that just, he looks at things differently. He's got his own unique way of doing it. Oh, he completely does. And it's unbelievable to me that he started his run out so unique. I have no, I have nothing to be able to tell you of how Dennis is going to be riding today because he showed up at the last second because he just became a father for the first time. The birth of his son, Asa, he's been spending a lot of time with him. And it Looks like he is just right back to business right now. Dennis doing what he does best, and that's just riding his bike <laughs> in such a fluid and perfect manner. Beautiful flip whip. Going into the back section here. Oh, nice. That is a suicide no-hander double truck driver. That means you throw your handlebar straight back. Very tough trick, very technical. The judges will reward him for that. So much style and even though he wasn't here for practice, he's just out here doing what Dennis always does at the X Games. A solid outing for him here to cap out the run order for round number one here at Wendy's BMX Park. Lots of sketch. <laughs> he says lots of sketch. Well, Look pretty smooth sketchy. to me there, Scotty. Yeah, but there's so many great things in this run that he should be proud of. And this is, I'm saying, he throws his hands back, you see? Straight back, waits for the bars to come around twice, but it's got to be perfectly timed because if you leave your hands back too long, you're going to miss those handlebars. So he's been doing those for years. He's got those completely dialed in. So we have gone through the run order one time. This is a 30-minute overall jam session here. You're looking for your best run that counts. That is how we do it out here at Wendy's BMX Park. Wait to see what happens here. Again, no scoring. It's live ranking, if you will. So the names will move around quite a bit. So Dennis Anderson will go into the number four position just outside of the podium as of right now. So as of now, it's Kevin Peraza, Pat Casey, and Mike Varga, your one, two, three, with lots of time still left to go. We'll have with more of Wendy's BMX Park when we come back to Dream Yard. Welcome back, everyone, to X Games 2021 here at Pat Casey's Dream Yard and Wendy's BMX Park. We have completed one round here in Wendy's BMX Park. And as of right now, it's Kevin Peraza sitting in that number one spot, followed by Pat Casey and Mike Varga with lots of riding still to come. Before we get back into it, let's check in with Jack Matroni. Thanks, crew. I'm on top of the deck right now. I got a vibe update, and I also have a fun fact for you guys. Starting with the vibe update, this is what BMX culture, X Games culture is all about. You got the backyard session paired with the highest level of X Games competition. Every time somebody lands something, all the rest of the athletes are cheering them on. It's like an amazing session. The pool party's going off, so it just feels right. It's good to be back. And then the fun fact, you heard Scotty mention it 11 days ago. Dennis Anderson, instead of training out here for the X Games, he's welcome his baby boy into the world so congratulations to Dennis check him out on Instagram give him a follow he's a fun one for sure to follow and I had a baby girl a year and a half ago I know how it is 11 days post a baby you don't sleep much so extra respect for Dennis we're keeping this party alive out here on the course it might be hot but the good times are flowing boys well, he looks like he's doing okay in the sleep department right there and pretty calm, cool, and collected on course. He's sitting outside of the top three as of right now with lots of time still to ride. And we keep talking about how this is Pat Casey's backyard. We're not kidding. You're looking at the house right there. You literally walk out the patio and you have this massive expanse of wood that is our course here for Wendy's BMX Park. But let's get back into the action. We go back up to the top of the order and bring back in Ben Wallace here. Now, Ben kind of called it off early in his first run. Let's see what he puts together in round two. 
So there it goes, starting it off very similar to the way he did in run number one. Now, I don't know exactly what went wrong, why he called it off early, but it looks like he's committed to this one. He's got great flow, great style of tricks, and he can also mix in the big tricks as well, as you saw that 360 flip over the spine. Nice 360 look back, but his feet slipped off the pedals there. He's got to regain his momentum a little bit, but that's not going to hurt him too much. Especially if you're going to go straight into a 360 double downside tail up on your recovery. Coming down to just under 10 seconds here for Ben in the second attempt. Well, BMX World knows him for his style, and every trick that he does, he makes sure he does exactly how it's supposed to be done. So there you go. He gets a complete run in the books there. Again, 30-minute jam session. The runs are 45 seconds in length. You can see him looking a little relieved after that one right there. I mean, it's hot out here, too. I mean, maybe fatigue was a little bit of a factor there early on. It just wasn't a feeling. And sometimes you got to pump the brakes, hit the reset button, give yourself a beat. Well, I can tell you from experience, too, especially if things aren't going absolutely perfect in that one run, you got to think about it. All right, I got to make this energy last me and make sure I can get my best run. So and maybe that's what he was doing. Well, he was ninth at the bottom of the pack there. We'll see where that slides him up here on the overall rankings in just a minute. However, we move on now to our next competitor. This is Marin Rantis, X Games rookie coming out of Croatia. No Czechs BMX athlete, Czech BMX athlete has medaled at X Games. The most successful Czech athlete at X Games is Moto X competitor Libor Podmal, who has eight medals in step up. What an amazing run, though, so far. He is flying around this course. I love seeing the confidence that he's bringing to this course, especially for, you know, being his first X Games. That's really hard to dive in on, and he's looking awesome. Let's see if he can get this trick right here. That's a 720 tail, but he pulls it that time. That is a huge trick. Triple tail up on the spine, and he rides away from that one. It looked like he was hanging up a little. Nice flip whip on the spine. Front flip flare, oh, he had the bail, oh no. So we'll hit the pause button here for a second. Let's see the rest of the field clapping as well as everybody hanging out in Athlete Staging there. You can see he's sitting up right now and talking with Next Games Medical, so that's a good sign. Of course, it's always so hard in a situation like this when you're trying to do your best run. You know, this is the biggest event of the year, so Marin, he tried to do the front flip flare, and uh, he, had, he, he tagged up his back wheel when he was leading into that, and you want to make sure you have all your momentum, and sometimes it, it's, it's, it's in your human nature as a rider to try to rush things sometimes, so... Uh, I feel terrible because, you know, he tried to take full advantage of that opportunity right there, and the front foot flare just didn't get the right pop. It's a very difficult trick, extremely difficult. Well, you never like to see that happen, but the good news is to see him up and walking away under his own power right there, so keep those positive vibes and well wishes going Marin's way, and uh, once we get an update from X Games Medical, we will uh, get you guys an update on his progress. But you could see the camaraderie there. I mean, the minute he went down, all the rest of the field, those guys are down there in the flat bottom checking on him alongside with the medical staff. I always say it, in BMX, it's not like we're going against each other. It's always us versus ourselves. We look at his, each other as friends, you know? We want everybody to ride their best. So it's a, it's a beautiful sport, it really is. So again, we will uh, get you any updates that we hear on Marin and his status. We'll... Uh, get back into competition here as you see they're getting uh, reset there in the athlete staging area. Kevin Peraza sitting in that number one spot followed by Pat Casey and uh, Marin in that number three spot. That's how good that run that, was. Yeah, with, even with time on the clock and even with the crash, that still was able to put him up in a podium contention as of right now. So again, great to see him getting up and walking away and that moved him up into podium contention as of right now. So again, on a bit of a comp hold here, just have to reset everything. But uh, you can see just the expanse of everything that there is out here at Pat's Dream Yard. I mean, look at the dirt jumps there in the background. I mean, you have this massive facility he's sitting on over an acre and a quarter out here. And I mean, he bought this house when he was 19 years old, Scotty. I mean, he's been working on this for so long. And how about this? I mean, to host the X Games in your backyard. 
So the course hold is over and we are back in competition. So the time clock obviously stopped. So here we go for run number two. Larry Edgar on course, currently sitting in that number eight spot. Look at that flare on that quarter pipe right there. I mean, I talked about this in the first round that Larry is known to just go higher than everyone else. Just somehow he has this ability to get this secret pump out of, out of nowhere. Nice, almost inverted 360 tail of landing with tons of speed flowing around. Larry has won multiple bowl competition. Oh, oh man. Just ran out of real estate there. We got rocks there. on the course right now. <laughs> Can we get a rake to the flat bottom, please? <laughs> Somebody send Pat out there. Uh, Pat's got a whole crew for that. I saw TJ Ellis running around with a rake out here earlier, him and the rest of the crew have been out here helping out quite a bit, getting this thing ready, coming into uh, X Games 2021. Yeah, but back to his riding, look at how high that flare was. But this is where things went wrong. See, he didn't, over, he didn't rotate enough, and he had to go somewhere, and that wall was the only option. That could have got nasty. I mean, that could have been a lot worse. You're right. So this is some parkour stuff there. Which is, which is a really cool trick. There's a really cool line, but there's not enough rotation. You can see he didn't fully rotate. He didn't want to go straight the direction he's going. He's supposed to come towards the camera angle, but he knew he had to go somewhere right into that wall. That was a really good save when you look at it again. I mean, you mentioned that in his first run. He's riding a little banged up. He got stitches uh, after a little slip up at practice yesterday. So good to see him out here. Daniel Sandoval was sitting in the top three. He now finds himself in that number six position. position. He owns four X Games medal, one gold, three bronze. Just such an amazing competitor. He is just so focused when he touches the course. So a little hang up right there, but that's not the end of the world. Especially if you're gonna do a double decade. Oh man. You know, we kind of talked about this. It's sometimes when the run starts to slip away a little bit in the beginning, you know, you kind of, your adrenaline kind of starts to wear off and sometimes you lose your momentum of moving forward. So he's usually got that double decade pretty consistent, which is unbelievable. That trick shouldn't be as consistent as he does it. So it's a tough break. Well, again, here at Wendy's BMX Park, it's the best run that counts. So still over 14 minutes left on the clock. So I'm sure he's, Quite certain he's going to end up getting another run out here. So again, your top three still Peraza, Casey, and Rantis as of right now. Jeremy Malott coming your way next. He's currently sitting in uh, the number seven position, another X Games rookie. He says the pandemic completely transformed his riding. And as I mentioned in his first run, he spent most of that time riding with Daniel Sandoval out in the Menifee, California area. Yeah, on both of their Instagrams, they were both just leveling up trick-wise. Everything just looks a complete perfection. Beautiful 540 flare to start things off. Landed so smooth, and he's carrying momentum on the course. Look at that 360 triple whip over the box jump. It's the first time we've seen that one today. And like I said earlier, the momentum is so key on this course. When you're when you're riding a competition like uh, in BMX Park, the judges want to see you look like you know what you're doing, like you have a direction. And it's so far, so good for Jeremy. His hub is so loud. <laughs> it's so amazing to see the cameras or the microphones picking up like that. Oh, 720 tail would barely survived that one. I was gonna say, I don't think his foot ever dabbed down. It no. slipped a little bit, but I don't think it ever touched. No, I think you're right. That's a good little run right there. There is the buzzer, and that'll do it. He's down in seventh pre-run, but uh, that was a good save right there at the very end for Jeremy. So here's that triple tail over right there. So there's one, there's the second one, and the third one comes around. You got to throw the bike kind of away from you to time the tail ups out. So when it comes back around, when you're ready to catch it, you bring it underneath. But this is his big save, and this is a crazy trick. 720 tail up. You got to do the tail up in the beginning. Look at his feet. They weren't even on the pedal. I was going to say, that left foot was underneath that pedal at one point, <laughs> and he had to pick that thing up and put it back. Oh, man, that Somehow was insane. Somehow found him. I do not know how he made that happen, but good on him. Oh, so Wendy is sending us tweets right now. Fun fact from Wendy. She said, we had to land that exact trick before they let us be the official spicy nugs of the X Games, and it only took them 444 tries. Well, thanks, Wendy's. We could take some spicy nugs up here in the booth. We wouldn't complain about it. Not at all. Kevin Peraza, former X Games Park gold medalist. He got his part gold in 2017. This is his ninth X Games appearance. 
hometown of Tucson, Arizona. KP sitting in that number one spot wow. as of right now, your current leader. Love the start of that run. Such a smooth, flowing style to his uh, beginning of the run. Just bringing big tricks, but bringing unique lines as well. 360 double downside tail up. Those tail ups are actually opposite. So he normally spins them the other way. But he uses the whole course. That's what's so great about Kevin. He'll use things that other riders won't because somehow he's able to do tricks that are at such a high level that the judges love it. Wow, look at that 360 downside tail of transfer. Nice 180 and that half cap tail of drop in. There's that nose to 360 smooth into the flare. <laughs> Another near perfect run for Kevin Peraza. He is having an awesome day on the course. Good narrow that quarter pipe is, and he has to send that flare right there. You got to get up on either side. Look at this, the beginning of the run. I love that. It's an alley-oop kind of uh, transfer, downside tail with 270. It's so difficult to do. Not many people in the world would even attempt that. But it's a very, here's the same trick, but it kind of differently. So he's doing it in alley-oop. He's getting nosedive, rotating, finding the pedals. And once again, not many people in the world would want to do that one. But somehow uses that speed and does that half cab tail up. So again, with no scoring, he can improve because he's in that top spot as of right now. So you can't get any better than first. So he's hoping to solidify that spot here as of right now. Pat Casey sits in that number two position and taking that one to Fakie on that yeah, step up. That was insane. No, no, one does, no one does that. That's the stuff you see in the Dream Yard videos. Like, that's not supposed to happen in a contest run. Uh, and I got to mention this. Not only has he been working so hard prepping his backyard for this event, he's competing in five events out here. And he's competing in four in his backyard, and he's also in the Moto 110s event at Axel Hodges' compound tomorrow. I didn't even know he can ride dirt bikes, but I don't want to take away from the, his run right now. We need to talk about this because what he's doing is unbelievable. He is on a tear. <laughs> he barely <laughs> That. Watch out for that railing pad. Oh wait, it's your house. You know it's there. You know exactly where it is. Look at that 180 bar spin, 360 at the buzzer. <laughs> Amazing run for Pat. Did you, did you see the look that he gave? You were like, yeah, I know that wall's there. I'm just gonna brush. I don't care. I just painted this thing. Yeah, Fine. I, put, I put it there. So <laughs> it's my wall. I'll brush up against it if I want. Look at how close he was. He's coming down on with an angle to his uh, left shoulder. But look at that. He knows. He's like, oh, I gotta <laughs> lean. I gotta lean. But it's only 12 foot long. I know I can get past this. <laughs> oh, man. And he was smiling the whole time. That was the best part about that entire replay right there. That was awesome. So it's still Peraza, Casey, and Rantis. Your one, two, three is we are just under the nine minute mark left to go here in this Wendy's BMX Park Jam session. Got Mike Varga back in. Mike is just outside of the podium looking in. He sits in that number four position as of right now. Oh, he had a fantastic first run. Very impressed with what he's bringing to this course. A lot of flow and a lot of unique tricks. I love that alley you Truck driver into that burnt wall. Flowing onto the back section here. Flip whip. He's got a good pump. Front flip, no hander, just like the first run. I like what he's doing here because he can clean up from what he did in the first run. Cool transfer line. Nice bars from Flair. Just under 10 seconds left to go here. So this is where you gotta dig deep. You gotta get something big for these judges. So there's the 540 Flair, but a very si similar situation to the first run. I don't know if that officially counts. Well, the last time the buzzer went, he was still sitting up there in the ice pick. This time around, he at least made it halfway across the flat. So I think he'd have a better case this go around. But what a great run, though. Here's the uh, 360 double tail whip over the hip. So technically, it would be a 270 double tail whip. A lot of, uh, you know, just so much control in his riding. And I think he, it's evolved so much over the years. It's really cool to see. So one rider left to go in the run order here as we are just under seven and a half minutes. Dennis Anderson, he was in the number four spot. He got bumped down one spot. By the way, Mike Varga's in the top three now, so Marin Rantis is in fourth. So they trade places. That bumps Dennis down to fifth place, but he's on course for 45 seconds. Really love that first start off to Dennis's run with that tail up drop in. 
such a unique way to approach a course. So stylish, and every trick that he does, he always does it to the full extent. He doesn't hold back, especially like that trick right there. That was a switch 360 and a switch bar spin, very rare. And that switch as well, that was a Canadian nose pick, and he's rotating the opposite way. Not many people would ever want to do that. Ooh, nice flip whip. He tagged a little bit, but he's still flowing. That's okay. There it is, the same kind of run that he's doing the first time around, letting those bars fly around twice. The end of the run here, he's got to put an exclamation point on. Lucky to 270 on that sub box. So another solid outing there for Dennis Henderson. Question is, will it be enough to crack into that top three? Peraza, Casey, Varga, your one, two, three. Dennis was in fourth, he got bumped down to fifth. So we have two runs in the books. One more round left to go. Who is going to walk away with the gold here in Wendy's BMX Park? We will find out when we come back to Pat Casey's Dream Yard. to Riverside, California for X Games 2021. We are in Pat Casey's Dream Yard, and it is the conclusion of Wendy's BMX Park. This is where we stand as of right now. Everyone's got two runs in the books. It looks like everyone's gonna get one more round. However, it's Kevin Peraza sitting in the number one position. Scotty, let's take a look at some highlights and talk about what put him there. Yeah, like I said earlier, I knew Kevin was going to be able to ride this park the right way, and his runs have been flawless, and there's just so much volume of the tricks that he's bringing, but the quality of them as well. Such a unique setup, so many 360 downside tail up transfers, and even that street style trick like the half cap tail up drop in. So, so again, smooth. it is the best run that counts out here at Wendy's BMX Park. So he is in the lead. However, it is far from over. We get ready to go back up to the top of the order and do this all over again. However, Kevin Peraza, no stranger to X Games Park Gold. We've mentioned it a couple of times. Got his gold medal in 2017. However, it's still up for grabs. The fight is not over here in Wendy's BMX Park. Ben Wallace. Had a rough go that first run. Scotty had to pull out early, managed to put it together there in round number two. However, to start off this third and final run, he finds himself down in the bottom of the pack there, sitting in that number nine position. Yeah, I think he's got unfinished business on his run. I think there's still stuff that he wants to be able to pull off, and uh, we'll see how this one goes. Yeah, he's got dirt silver medals from X Games Austin in 20, 2014 and 2016, but this is only the Ooh. second time we've ever seen him park at the X Games. So that's what he was looking for right there. He did the 360 flip over the spot straight into the 540 flare. That's definitely an upgrade. And that's the kind of momentum he needs. Oh, nice bars from the toboggan. Very technical move. Super stylish. This is a huge upgrade from his previous run. Again, the runs are 45 seconds in length. It's the better of your three runs that is going to count out here today as we are down to the final five seconds for Mr. Wallace. So this is it, this is the exclamation point we're looking for. What's he got? Into the flare, that was a switch flare actually, so it was the opposite direction, so that's pretty cool. Definitely an upgrade from his previous runs. I think he's definitely feeling pretty good about himself. We will see if that gets him out of the bottom of the pack. And we talked about Kevin Peraza being in the lead. You got Pat Casey and Mike Varga rounding out the podium. Look at the height right here. That yeah, was I, huge. That's just picture perfect right there. Yeah. So high. And you see how smooth he landed? That's why he was able to go straight into this 540 flare. That's what he was missing in those other two runs right there. He just did the regular flare. He knew he needed to get the right speed to be able to pop up and get that full rotation. No way. Get it, boy. So Marn Rantis is going to be out. He had a crash in that second round. So again, we'll get you an update on his condition as we get it. But keep those positive vibes and well wishes headed his way. But right now we move on to Larry Edgar. Ben Wallace moved up a couple of spots, by the way, into sixth place. So Larry Edgar now finds himself in that number nine position here with this third and final run. Larry putting a different kind of touch on his run from his other ones. Really cool to see what he's done over his spine. Goes so high with that 360 table. There's that triple tail once again. 
We talked about it earlier. He is riding with stitches in his leg, so but that's not going to slow him down at all. He's still going to go higher than everybody else. Transfer to the top part. Nice, huge flare. That Look at the height. Massive. And he was able to complete that transfer into the spine. It's those little things that the judges are going to be noticing. Beautiful 360 no hand and his run off. Look at the height. Look at the style right there. Just so smooth. And that is going to do it right there for Larry Edgar. You got 12th in Park as an X Games rookie at Minneapolis in 2017, 6th in Minneapolis in 2018, and 8th in Minneapolis in 2019. So there's that triple tail up over the box jump. I said it earlier, it's kind of rare to see Larry doing a trick like that when over the box. So I really respect the fact that he went and pulled that out of his bag because he knew the style of competition today. Taking a look at Daniel Sandoval there. He finds himself in that number seven position as of right now, just waiting to get the thumbs up here from the comp staff. I mean, you're down, we're under three minutes, so this is gonna be the last run for everybody here, so whatever you got left in the gas tank, this is where you send it, and here we go. And what's so good about this is he knows that this is his now or never, and he is the perfect person to be in this situation. Let's see if he can get it. Oh, he switched it up oh, on that one right there. Oh, so he's got to do a turnaround. It's not the ideal way to keep the run flowing, but that was a huge, huge trick. 360 double tail up to downside tail late. Nice 360 whip to late bar spin. He's going to need to bring some heat on this one. Cash roll. He's still got the momentum. It's still going in a positive direction, but he's got to put an exclamation point on his run right now. Did you see how fast he went whipping through that ball corner? Oh, flare double oh, tail whip. <laughs> wow. Amazing set. 360 down set tail open. Like I was saying earlier, out of anybody to be under a high pressure situation, like he's the guy for the, for, for the job, but he also has the ability to fix things on the fly. Even though things don't go as planned, he reroutes. He, he figures out a way to turn things into a positive. He doesn't get lost in the course. He has an answer when he shows up and he looks at the next ramp. He's like, okay, I know what to do. But this is a huge trick right here. 360 double tail. Now watch, he stops the bike, kicks it the complete opposite direction to the downside tail up, and he had, he landed a little bit low, so his feet bounced off. He was able to put them back on the bike, even though they did bounce off the bike. So here's the cash roll right here. Like I said earlier, it's a mix between a 360 front flip and an off access cork 720, but this was a huge trick. That is the flare, double tail, being upside down, holding it, waiting to catch the bike. Pulling that one's huge for his run, because he needed a big one at the end. Yeah, he turned, he turned on the afterburners and threw a bunch in at the end. So Wendy's sending us another tweet saying, we don't know what they call that move, but they should rename it the Wendy's Spicy Nugs because it wasn't, I'm gonna assume that emoji there is some sort of chef's kiss there, Scotty. I don't know if they're gonna allow you to rename that the Wendy's Spicy Nugs, Wendy, but uh, we are a fan of the Flare Double Tail Whip as well. So man, he turned it on in the end of that run there, and that is not going to improve his placing at all. He is going to stay in seventh. So now it comes down to Jeremy Malott for his third and final attempt. He finds himself in that number eight spot, Scotty. He can definitely upgrade on that with his style of tricks. He's got some big combinations. Oh, there we go, a 360 double tail to late bar spin. I know he's been wanting to do that one, so. Looks like things are trending in the right direction for him. Beautiful flare whip, landed so high up, keeping the speed, keeping the flow. The judges are gonna love that. 720 over the box jump, going into the back end of the course. He's at the 10 second mark, so this is gonna be huge for him. There's a 1080, oh no! Just, man. Not quite enough. He gets the thumbs up. It's the first time we've seen that one today. That's a big move. Three full rotations. So close to being pulled. But here's that 360 double tail of catching the bike, finding the pedals, securing everything, clearing your legs, and then doing that bar spin. BMX is so technical right now. It's so crazy to see. But look at the 1080. Spin number one, spin number two, and then he keeps on looking. And at this point, he's flattening out. 
but he's landing a little bit low and a little under rotated and flat, so he couldn't have the momentum to keep continuing on. Well, that is going to bring us down to our four final competitors. And the story now is the next three in the rotation, they're all in the top three. The only one on the outside looking in at this point is Dennis Enerson, who gets to ride last in the run order. This is Kevin Peraza in for his third and final attempt, your current leader. Kevin's been riding this course so good. It's amazing to see him just dropping because I'm so excited to see what he's going to bring this time around. Such a smooth style of his riding. Just look at how flawless the tricks are and how carefree he is on this course. Nice, he found the pedals right there. His pedals did move a little bit. But we talked about this in the previous runs. He just puts tricks where they're not supposed to be and it somehow keeps the momentum flowing on his run. Nice! Wow. Off axis, 360 one-handed tabletop. Oh no! He tried to get real technical with that one, do a flare to fakie. He's gonna do a half cap trick in. The little hang up the end, but the first two runs were solid. It's got him in that number one position as of right now. By the way, <laughs> he's competing in park, street, and dirt out here this week. The first to compete in all three of those at the same X game. So the Iron Man Award oh, for the I week. I love this trick. He just throws his foot off the bike on purpose because he knows, all right, I got to get this foot out of the way because I'm going to crank this thing in a scary pull right now. And he, it was really inverted. But this is where things went wrong, possibly, or this could be the tail whip. Yeah, this is where things went wrong. So he just didn't have the right rotation. He wanted to get that fakie and do a trick into that other side of the box jump. But not a bad day for him. He is in first place. I mean, for things to go wrong, <laughs> You can't really argue with that one being at the top. Well, you still have three more riders left to go. And as I mentioned before, the next two also in the top three. And then our last rider, Dennis Henderson on the outside looking in. But I mean, you couldn't ask for a better story. I mean, we're in his backyard. He's been putting in so much work into this, competing in five events out here in the span of 27 hours. Pat Casey looking at the silver medal as of right now. Can he bump up and possibly take the top spot here, Scotty? Oh, things are looking really good right now. So smooth. I just love seeing Pat ride this because it is his home court. He knows these transitions. But one thing you got to factor in your mind is these guys all ride differently. They're going to have a different approach to the course. So it doesn't mean he has an unfair advantage. I mean, you can see Kevin Peraza is definitely above him right now. These guys are the elite when it comes to BMX. And it's just amazing to see all these guys be able to ride this big, beautiful course. Coming down. Five seconds. This is a big move right here. Another throw. Oh, oh, no. No doubt. With the last couple of seconds there. Oh man, what an amazing day of riding this parkour for him though. Not only an amazing rider, an amazing host. <laughs> he's been taking care of everything here and he's loving having everybody in the backyard. I mean, this whole layout here at Dream Yard is insane. If you get these well, massive... Canadian boys. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Varga currently sitting in that bronze Demon. medal position. Demon. Has dual citizenship between Canada and the U.S. Give him the shout out there for the Canadian boys. And he's in for his third and final attempt here in Wendy's BMX Park. Mike's got to be feeling pretty good, but the pressure is on because he can lose his podium position. Dennis Anderson can ride after him, so it's not a comfortable situation. He's got to bring his A game right now. Yeah, he is in that bubble spot as of right now with one rider left to go after him on the outside looking in. Coming up on the final 20 seconds for this last run. All right, so he sacrificed the no-hander right there, but he's going to have to bring something big in the end part of this run to really solidify his spot on the podium. Nice bar spin flare, so, such high air, and he's landing really smooth and keeping the rhythm going of the run, which is what the judges want to see. So here we go, he's heading over. There's that 540 flare again, so a very similar run to the previous ones. And like I said earlier, he did sacrifice the no-hander, so I don't know if it's going to affect the score too much. Just a little bit of that, that time management situation there. We've seen it fluctuate a little bit on that, yeah. that last spot of the run. 
Yeah, it's definitely a tough situation to be in because we don't know if it fully counts right there. But amazing day, no matter what happens. But yeah, if you would have got off this ice pick just a little faster, maybe, <laughs> just to make sure. See, look at that. Especially with the slow mo, it feels like it's an eternity. But the first run, it was it felt like it was up there forever. And definitely, he wasn't even halfway across the flat bottom when the buzzer sounded. So you knew that one definitely didn't count. But the last two, who knows? That's for the judges to decide. So with one rider left to go. Again, it's Peraza, Casey Varga, your one, two, three, but with one rider left to go, Dennis Anderson sits on the outside looking in. He is in the number five position. He is the last guy that could shake up our standings here at Wendy's BMX Park. We know that Kevin Peraza is going to get a medal. We know that Pat Casey is going to get a medal. The question is, what color is it going to be? Mike Varga still on that bubble spot, and he is going to have to nervously watch as this last 45 seconds unfolds for Dennis. Dennis Anderson. Get it, Dennis. Asa. So here we go. Dennis Anderson, the last guy to shake up our standings here in Wendy's BMX Park. He's got the skills to do it. He has taken gold in this event before. This is the last chance, the last shot here. This 45 seconds, it all comes down to this to cap off our Wendy's BMX Park event here at Pat Casey's Dream Yard. So here we go, one rider left to go. He sits in the number five position. It's Peraza, Casey, and Varga, your one, two, three. Dennis Anderson, a former X Games Park gold medalist. He's the last guy that can shake up the standings. Can he do it in this final 45 seconds here at Wendy's BMX Park? So Dennis is on top of the world with the birth of his son. He is just having an amazing time on the course and is showing through his riding. He's just flowing. It looks like he's in a good place right now. But let me not take that away. This guy is... Definitely the best rider, you know, in the world, arguably. So things are looking awesome right now in the run. But he's got to keep the momentum going to get on this podium. So this is a big trick right here. It's a flip whip. He's got to get the speed. Nice pump. Oh, beautiful over that hip. There we go. Nice, smooth. Everything is in control. That's what the judges want to see, too. They don't want to look like you're on the verge of, like, falling apart. They want to make sure you are, you know, exactly what's going on. Look at that 180 tail whip over the spine. And that is going to do it. That's going to cap off Dennis's last run, and that is going to do it for Wendy's BMX Park. Now we get to play the waiting game, yeah, Scotty. Again. <laughs> Cheers. Hey, Thanks, got buddy. that one in at the buzzer. And that's a big trick right there. That 180 tail whip is a no joke yeah, trick over the spine, especially to do that at the end when you do not have that much energy. But here's that big flip whip. Dennis has been doing these for years, and he always does them picture perfect, and lands so smooth every time. Look at that toboggan 270 over the hip. But here's that last trick. This is the 180 tail whip. So he's going to be landing fakey. And when we fake, say fakey, that's landing backwards. But if you watch his feet, you know, make sure that his feet are clear because he's doing a fakey. So the pedal's got to be perfect for the free coaster not to engage. So you don't see any scores up there. It's a live ranking system. The judges discuss it and they rank the riders as to how they feel they placed overall versus putting scores up. So there you go. It's Kevin Peraza is going to return to the top spot when it comes to X Games BMX Park. He takes the gold. Pat Casey in his own backyard is going to walk out of here with the silver. And it's Canada's Mike Varga who's going to walk out of here at Wendy's BMX Park with the bronze, Scotty. Amazing day of riding. Kevin Rood flawlessly. So ex I'm just so happy to see these guys on this wooden course just being able to ride to their full potential today. It's been such a treat. I don't even know what to say. What do I do? Yeah. Look at this. It's just full control on this course. It just looks like he knows what he's doing, and that's what he does best. Well, let's send it down to Jack Matrani, who is dreaming, on right? the course with our I'm not winner. Dreaming, we're not at Pat Gaze's house. Okay, okay.
All right, we're here with Kevin Peraza. Congratulations on your third gold medal. I just want to know, first off, thank you for the infectious smile, <laughs> spreading the good vibes for BMX. What's it like competing here at one of your best friend's house? It's a dream come true, man, to see the vision that my friend Pat Casey had from when he first bought the home to how he built the ramp to all the incredible sessions we had here in his backyard to now X Games hosting one of the most relaxed and iconic BMX Park finals, man. It's insane. I can't believe it, man. And how special is this? Your third gold medal <laughs> out here at Pat Casey's Dream Yard. How big is this one? Uh, I don't know. I got the chills. You know, um, thank God I walked away healthy. I think just being here and being invited to X Games is always winning to me. I have my wife, my family here that came down from Tucson. My second family, the KC's out here that opened their doors to everyone that came out. And BMX in general, just for being really fun as always, you know. And I, I don't know, it's crazy. So, so special for sure. So special, you make it so much fun. Congratulations, Kevin Peraza. Keep smiling, keep winning. Thank much you, Jack. respect. Yeah. So a big finish for him and his second ever X Games Park gold medal. So it was a lot of firepower on the course out here at Wendy's BMX Park. Scotty, your final thoughts as we wrap it up? I knew this was going to be a good one. The guys definitely put on a show. It was amazing to see these guys come up with such amazing runs on this course. So Mike Varga with his first park medal. It's Pat Casey taking his third park medal, and Kevin Peraza returns to BMX Park Gold.